It was mentioned some time ago the impact that's going to occur when one has their 2020 glasses put on. And in essence, that impact is going to happen collectively all at the same time, in essence, for the majority. Because what is to occur is going to occur for everyone. Without exception, it's going to be worldwide, undeniable. In essence, everyone is still fast asleep, continually dismissing the alarm, just hitting that snooze button, thinking that everything is just absolutely perfect. And that's also what this is about. It's hell's version of heaven, as was said. So Hell's Master has created its version of the perfect vision. This is Hell's perfect vision right now as it's being experienced for everyone. All of its hierarchies. All of the pleasures, so-called pleasures, disease pleasures, and obviously all the pains. The whole dichotomy, the whole contradiction of the thing. This is the mind's version of the perfect vision. Everyone is experiencing it in different ways right now at this moment. And of course, at the height of this perfect vision, the very pinnacle, it's going to get taken away. Hubris cometh before the fall. We're right in the very month of pride, pride month, a whole month of hubris. Very much a symbolic indicator of what is to very soon come, very soon. We are in essence but moments away. And when that happens, all at once, collectively everyone gets slammed with the 2020 glasses the perfect vision this dream that so many are caught in that they believe in disappears just like a dream you wake up and the dream is gone at once and you wonder where in the hell you actually are well everyone Everyone's going to see exactly where they are, truly. The waking nightmare. And it's going to be collectively understood, completely understood, all of the things that have been talked about, especially since the classroom has went dark. Especially. It's a prequel reflection. It's been a reflection of what's to come. And my own personal homelessness has also been a prequel reflection of what's to come. When one loses their home, when everyone loses their home collectively. Because where is the home? What is the home? Well, the earth is the home for everyone. And it's being treated like a piece of garbage, like an enemy, like a slave, as a slave, through and through. And so slavery time is over. The tables are going to be turned. No more serving the wrong vision the perfect, so-called perfect vision of hell. All of that is going to disappear for everyone. Say goodbye to the circus. Say goodbye to it. It's going to go bye-bye. All at once. Gone. Hubris cometh before the fall. The symbolic indicators are slapping everyone in the face right now. The tell is so damn obvious. You're being told. Outright, you're just being told. Are you paying attention? 
or is it just far too convenient to keep sleeping? Continue hitting that snooze and keep mocking the message. Go ahead. Mockery is only going to get one so far. Well, exactly the same distance as everyone else. And that includes, yes, even the ones who are taking it serious. That's the unfortunate reality as well. There are very few real hearts out there that are doing their best to, to take everything serious. The unfortunate reality is the dream disappears for the real as well. This so-called quote-unquote dream, which is no dream at all. Those who have taken it serious have already been seeing the nightmare, at least to a certain extent. But when the 2020 glasses hit, even for the real, oh, that that's quite something else. Then you truly see. You see where you are. It is a waking nightmare. Absolutely it is. And it all disappears just like a dream when you wake up. Then you're in the real world. And you have the eyes to see now because you're actually awake. Because it's all been taken away. Everyone's home is now gone. Business is closed from the heart. Because it was never about business. That's the mockery version of Hell's system. You treat it seriously. So the prequel reflection of my own homelessness and the classroom going dark is about everything going dark and everyone losing their home, which is the earth which provides everything. It's been another reflection. It's wondered how many saw that. How many want to see it? This joke, this entire joke, has run out of gas. Completely. The reflection of that is, yeah, running out of oil and gas. And those who love this system, love the paradigm of the use of oil and gas to prop up industry to prop up this way of life just constantly siphoning that oil as if that's the correct idea it's so horrendous in so many ways no there's not infinite amounts so many think that there's no such thing as scarcity with anything it's just ridiculous and look at how horrendous the earth is being treated in the production that's done through the oil and gas industry. I brought up just Fort McMurray alone. Just look at that alone and the oil sands and the destruction that's wrought on the earth through the oil sands. It's disgusting and horrendous. It literally is the apocalypse there already. Already it's it looks like the end of the world, just in that one area. They've turned it into an absolute shithole for the concept and idea of profit, profiteering. Oh, there's so much. There's never scarcity. Just destroying the Athabasca River on top of it. The tailing ponds bigger than the size of Florida. Just a complete disaster through and through and people want to believe in the oil and gas industry as if that's the correct idea that we should just keep trundling forward with it even if let's say even if there was infinite amounts of oil and gas let's go with that there's infinite oil and gas does one think conceptualize that this whole paradigm of using it and the way it's being extrapolated should continue on 
Fracking is another example. Offshore drilling. Look at the horrendous things that happen through fracking. Destroying the underground water systems. The aquifers. Pumping all that chemical shit into the ground. Creating earthquakes. So on and so forth. Wreaking havoc. And then people come out and say, Ugh, The elites are creating artificial scarcity. <laughs> it's, you're ridiculous. You're absolutely ridiculous. And you believe in hell's system and hell's vision, obviously. You believe in wearing an ass that shits every day. You believe in this disease infestation suit that you're wearing. And it's disease pleasures, obviously. You believe in sniffing ass and chasing tail. You have to. You're completely asleep. Completely. Your 2020 glasses are going to hit hard. It's going to hurt. And that fall, the fall is going to be so fast. Just as fast as when you wake up from what you call sleep right now. Think. Think how fast that is. Is it 15 hours to wake up from bed? Well, if it is, that's just pathetic, for one. So how fast is your wake-up? Just normally speaking, just what one considers to be sleep. And then you might have had some great dreams. Oh, man, I had so many good dreams last night. And you didn't want to wake up because those dreams were so wonderful. You didn't want to wake up. Well, you're in hell's version of heaven, and it's the same thing. It's the same reflection. You don't want to wake up from this dream because you're endowed with the incorrect vision right now. You do not have your 2020 glasses on whatsoever. So when one truly wakes up because they've lost their home, the earth, and the taps of the earth are going to shut off. It's no longer going to be open, so to speak. It's no longer going to provide everything. The taps are closed. One loses the earth. Loses the true home. Because they believed in the incorrect vision, which was all about taking. That's the vision of the mind, the cancer system. That's exactly what cancer is. It's a take system. It's all about taking everything without remorse, without the concept of consequence or the pain brought onto anything. It's just for fun. We looked into the etymology even of that word. So when one wants to believe in the incorrect vision in the wrong system, they truly are a clown. If any want to believe in hell's version of heaven, you're a clown, you're a clone. And of course you're going to be at war with, with the heart, against it. Because you do not want your fictional dream to end. You don't want your cancer system to to be done with, to be over. You want an endless perpetuation of this disease infestation. We'll be finished with this earth and we'll find another one. Yeah, there is no other earth. One didn't get the memo on that because they're still asleep. So instead, the perfect vision of the heart comes back that's the tables that are turning and this in essence is going to be about the choice that everyone is going to have to make does one want to follow 
the correct vision or does one want to follow the ideas of hell which are no longer in charge whatsoever and no longer have any say and never did provide a damn thing for anyone it never provided any of the life because the mind is death quite actually it's death through and through which has nothing to do with life nothing to do with anything that's correct but many do believe in disease pleasures sniffing ass and chasing tail going after ridiculous goals and just being part of the whole clown clone circus that entire shit show which is all before us to the one who's already wearing 2020 glasses this obvious this is a nightmare this is actually hell so to the very few who are real and have been taking it serious the choice is going to be quite easy even though what's going to need to be done is going to be anything but easy but still one sees that they're in a choiceless situation it's heaven or hell that's no choice at all it's obvious what needs to be done no matter what needs to be done one will go through hell to get to heaven absolutely the only other choice is just to remain in hell that's no choice at all but unfortunately many will fall for what the mind is presenting it's going to present ideas such as everything is going to turn around very quickly and that's of course what happened with the whole vaccine campaign everything eventually opened up again and it became another boy who cries wolf scenario many said this is it the vaccines the mark blah 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 no it wasn't one just had to analogize properly as has already been stated this is a harvest system we are treated as food energy slaves so just as a rancher does to their cattle again I repeat they vaccinate and then brand the brand is the reflection of the mark to come and then the third step obviously the Salafter house slaughterhouse yeah so many of these things utilized by the majority thinking they have no consequence thinking the horrendous pains that all of these animals go through just means nothing to serve your taste buds the taste buds that one finds they can utilize while wearing this disease suit hopefully the trade-off is worth it or has been worth it really the correct term is has been this whole system is a has been it's a loser system it's cancer quite literally this is not a metaphor there is nothing to believe in that's correct about any of these clown shit show ideas this heart doesn't believe in a stitch of it I reiterate that because it's important it's so damn important and would one choose the heart truly and be all in it has to be the same you can't believe in a stitch of hell's vision not one that's so important to know so the time is coming shortly everyone's going to have their 2020 glasses put on whether they like it or not the final wake-up call is going to be one that no one can ignore no one there's gonna be no more snooze button 
the house is going to be on fire. One's going to bury themselves in blankets and what, just sleep while they get burned alive? That's going to be, in essence, what it's going to look like. It's not going to be a situation of choice in that regard. It's going to get very real. The real world is coming. It's going to be seen. It should be seen already. It's all around us. But people are walking around in a zombie-like state. It's so unfortunate. I truly do feel empathy, especially for those who are taking it serious, as serious as they can in this moment. I, I have great empathy. I really do. The message and what's to come weighs heavy on this heart, on my heart, but it weighs far heavier on the earth itself and all that it's gone through, all that our creators have gone through. Just an enormity. It can't be conceptualized. It just can't. Immensities can't be conceptualized when we're stuck in a small and blind vision. That's just the unfortunate fact. That's why the only way to prepare for what's to come, this fall to come, is to get rid of all the distractions and go within. Any of the answers that anyone who is real is seeking are going to be found within your heart. All of creation is ready to give you those answers if you are taking it serious. Being in silence. Remaining sober. This is the time to be sober. My goodness. This is no time for a lack of sobriety whatsoever. You need to be alert. On high alert. It's tough to do, especially... In times like right now where it's springtime and there's a lot of nice days and the sun is shining and so on. It is. It's difficult to do. And you may have friends that are out doing a lot of things and just having fun and thinking it's just all part of what's going to continue indefinitely. Yeah, it's difficult. Difficult to take things seriously when no one else does. And no one else sees anything of what's wrong in this place. But that's part of being sober. It's part of being responsible. Taking a higher level of responsibility. Answering the higher calling. It's all part of that. What is one willing to give up in these moments? Yeah, it's about giving up things as well. If you can't give up anything for eternity, then you're not ready for eternity. You're not ready for the kingdom of the heart if you're unwilling to give up a damn thing, especially of what this incorrect place is all about. It's another test. There's all kinds of vision tests. Everyone's gone through many vision tests in their life. Has one paid attention to them? That's another big question. You don't think that creation, the true creation, has been testing you in that regard? This is about finding the perfect vision, finding the real hearts. Absolutely everyone's being tested. Else we end up with more of this shit show throughout eternity. It's about ending cancer, not perpetuating it. This needs to be understood. The truth, the actual perfect vision, is coming back, is come back. Is one ready? And that's the thing, ready or not, it's going to happen. The final wake-up call. 
is one ready.